Now this time it's the surgeon's knot. It's the same procedure with your needle holder on the right side as a reverse grip, tissue plier on your left hand, and your needle goes from the buckle aspect to engage the buckle flap. Your needle comes out from the lingual side, and you pull the string all the way until you have the 3 to 5 cm from this uh, short end side. Now you rotate your needle and you enter from the lingual aspect and you come out of the buckle aspect. Now you fully engaged the buckle flap and the lingual flap. Now you can get rid of the needle holder like this and left palm, your silk drops on top of the left palm, the needle can drop, and we are ready for the surgeon's knot. Now, this is the short end, and this is the long end. And the needle, imaginary incision line, the needle holder goes above the incision line. Rule number one, needle holder goes above the incision line. Rule number two, rotate the silk around with the needle holder inside the loop. See, this is the short end, this is the long end, and they make a loop, a complete circle. When you create a circle, the needle holder goes inside, not outside. So if you put your needle holder inside for the first row, for the second row, you also put your needle holder inside again. If you prefer the outside rotation like this, you continue the same direction. For the first throw, you put your needle holder outside and tie, make a, uh, make a throw. For the second throw, you put your needle holder outside the loop again. By doing that, you create the surgeon's knot. If you do not, and if you mix with the rotations, you end up with the having granny knot, which are easily loosened. So, uh, this is the surgeon's knot, so the first row will be uh, twice the rotation. Needle holder goes above the incision line. Rule number two, the rotate around the needle holder with the needle holder inside the loop. Rule number three, it grips the end, the tip of the suture of the short end, and the short end crosses the river along the above the incision line, and your left hand goes the other directions. Now and your left pinky goes like this, and you pull it until you have a tight uh, knot. Now let the short end go. Now we are ready for the second throw. Again, needle holder goes above the incision line. The silk rotates around the needle holder with the needle holder inside the loop. Grab the tip of the short end, and the short end crosses the river, and your left hand goes to the opposite direction like this. So your first throw was twice and the second throw was once. If you want the extra knot, the rotation doesn't matter, you create an extra knot. It's a two by one by one surgeon's knot. And you cut the silk three to five millimeter away from the knot. So this is the conventional surgeon's knot.